Zane, you smile, bro. How are you doing? Is it is it our six monthly checkup, Zany? Rusty Brazen. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, you finished with the first semester. Just remind me where you're at on on all this, Zany. What, what course was you doing again? Nursing school, so that's what, a three year course? So you're on, you've just done the first semester of year one, is that right? You just bought a CGP grade. Oh, what's that? PC Tech has gifted a sub to Zany. <laughs> Thank you, PC Tech. Welcome back, Zany. Notice, Zany, your sub icon. Notice what you have now. Yeah? You don't have, like, the tier one, sorry, the, um, the month one badge. It's, re it's calculated now based on how many months you had in total. Just the pickup. Happy anniversary, Nata. Uh, I am Bonio. Thank you for sixteen months. First time watching stream, looking forward to watching. Welcome. Let's have a look. Traveling in style. You're nearly a billionaire now, you can invest in robotic automated trucks. Lol. Uh, CGP, GCSE, grade 9, 1, combined science. So Zany, how long do you get off, um, like between semester now? How long do you actually take a break for? Nothing. What? Tora Kafka, how you doing? You're not here much anymore, why not? Are you busy? You had two months of exams and practical training, now you're back to the classroom. Wait, I'm pretty certain we could just carry on though. So Zany, have you got three years of back-to-back -back school with actually no breaks in between? 
I thought the whole point of a, of a semester was to be like a term at school, and then a break, and then another term, and then a break. That's how we used to do it at university. At 10 weeks, a 10 week term, and then we got four weeks off, I think, then 10 weeks, then four weeks off, then 10 weeks, that was the end of the year, and you got like 12 weeks off, so that's something daft. Well, it's more like eight. Oh, actually, no. Oh, it was more like 10. The break that you have of the holidays in June, August, and September. Jeez, man. That's insane. I don't know, Chris. I noticed some weird lighting effects back there as well. That's why I stopped for a second. I could see something casting a shadow, which is a bit odd. The adulting thing is very unfair. You've been doing it for 20 plus years, dude. I agree. Well, you've got Squirrel Plus to catch the old streams on if you want something to watch. <laughs> it's nice to have breaks so you can catch up on the assessments you fall behind on. Oh. I don't know, Chris. I, I, I only, can only think it's a Pro Mods bug. Maybe they haven't spotted it yet. So Zaini, when you've done your three years, um, what happens then? Are you like a fully qualified nurse or something? Go and work in a hospital? Creeper, I think it's Yar Odenine, isn't it? SSD drives. I always use Samsung. Um, I used to use 850s, then 860s, now 870s. Samsung SSDs. Like they, honestly, they've not one has failed on me yet. They've been really good. The Evo drives or the Pro drives. The Pro drive, like the Evo drives are really good. The Pro drives are just a little bit quicker and I don't know if they're worth the money. Evos are really good. Scotsman, thank you for 28. When someone finishes med, they usually shoot for residency in a hospital. Yeah, that's it from so like the pro drives tend to get used more in um like if you buy memory sticks for cameras like for recording cameras and stuff or if you buy like i've got this unit that's it's like a, a high res 4k monitor and you plug it into the camera and uh, it shows you what the camera sees and it allows you to record in 4k 60 fps 
and that's a classic place where you would use a pro drive because you want sustained 4k vlog 60 fps is a heck of a, a heck of a rate and a pro drive can keep up with it but for typical gaming you don't need it evo's fine Uh, not been testing pro mods lately as I'm a beta tester. I have though become a recruiting pro mods a step before if you become a PM developer. Huh? What is going on here? Flipping caravan? This is where Jeremy Clarkson gets it from. Samsung 860 Pro, you're tired of visiting the service, replacing it for a third time. Dude, I've never had a problem with them. That's so bizarre. Are you definitely getting legit Samsung drives there, Captain Flint? And not some, like, import from Hong Kong that's based as the Samsung 860? I don't know, but I've never had an issue. how close that truck was oh my god that's what I'm thinking Beaker to get three like that is unbelievable Even if the first was, it was the official Samsung service that replaced it. That's true. I can't imagine, like... That's like getting hit by lightning three times. <laughs> Puff is welcome back. Why is this guy, like, constantly slowing down? Get schooled. <laughs> uh, what do I think of the iPhone 6S? Uh, when I had one, it was a good phone. Got your, you've got your rack. This is where the Android fanboys like to sort of pick up the keyboard now. And scoff. See, look how useful this sun visor is. <laughs> A sensible place to begin in guy racing in the rookie leagues is all you can do. That's where you have to begin. You just um, ignore your eye rating completely when you're in rookies. Just don't bother thinking about rating. Don't even bother racing. Just finish the race without hitting anything or anybody. That's all you need to do. Hello? <laughs> Blimey. Yeah, 
Is it still a Big Mac to you? Uh, well, I must confess I've not been to McDonald's since the whole Big Mac debacle. I don't care if they call it a Big Tim or a Big Jeff. I really don't care. As long as I know what to call it when I order it, and they don't change the recipe, I'm down with that. As it happens, I think Big Jeff would be a good name. They could trademark a Big Jeff. I don't mind. As long as they pay me 10% of all the royalties. Don't play chicken with me, son. I'll put Nando's sauce on you, have you with some fries? Funny enough, Zany. Big Jeff would turn itself around when you put it down. <laughs> that would be great, wouldn't it? Do you know what? I thought that said random then. And I was thinking, how much would I want to live in a town called Random? Because that's... Fantastic. There must be a town oh, called Random. Fantastic. Have you tried the Zynga stacker at KFC? It's so messy. I think I have, actually, Connor, and I think I know what you mean. I want to live in a town called Random. Okay, I don't understand this, Renault, but I'm going to do it anyway. Exactly, you never find your house. Every time you go back to your house when you live in random, the road configurations will have changed. Connor, are the touchpad order screens at KFC as bad as the ones in McDonald's? There's a place called Random Lake in the US. Nice. Look at the wheel nuts glowing. That's bizarre. That LED wheel nuts. When you're drunk, you prefer a kebab over McDonald's, Zadie. I think when you're drunk, pretty much, I don't know why, Zadie, but when you're not drunk, a kebab is not... I don't know. It's weird, but when you get drunk, you just want a kebab. It's bizarre. Uh, thank you, Mr. T. Strudwick. Mind some a car? Nope. It's your truck. Drunk plus anything greasy equals nom nom. That's pretty much what it is, isn't it? I think you just want to eat something that soaks all the beer up. That's what it is.
beer or whiskey. Now pizza, cold pizza is what you have the morning after. So you have beer, while you're drunk you have kebab, you wake up in the morning, you're still starving, so you eat cold pizza. And it just works. Uh-oh. There could have been miscalculations. SS are recording the sound of the range T. Mm. Hopefully we'll get that this year. Can you have a microwave burger for lunch? Where did I go? I went somewhere a couple of weeks ago and they were serving these little mini burgers. They were about they were literally like that big. And they were fabulous. There's something awesome about a mini burger. Snake the Jake Roberts, 27 months. Hope you well. I'm not bad, thanks. Keep up the great work. Thank you, dude. Have you ever had a Jamaican beef patty? Mm, I don't know. I'd eat it though. Oh yeah, I need some fuel. Uh, Alex Spice, welcome to the Nut House, Alex Spice. Thank you for your support. Thanks for the nutty welcome. Run Watch 2.33 released within the last two hours. No, it didn't. It released about eight, nine hours ago and I downloaded it about seven hours ago <laughs> and I'm using it right now Somebody's in a strop. Right, that's it. Not answering my question. I'm out. <laughs> oh dear. K Steen, 37 months. My months are back. There you go. Ooh, fuel station. I love that. Why do you get yourself all wound up on a Sunday night watching a stream? I'm not here to entertain myself, I'm here to ask you questions, and if you don't answer them, I'm going to quit. So there. <laughs> a nice day. Enjoy. <clears throat> How do I have Satnav on the left, Rufa? It's called, um, Hemel's Root Advisor. It's a mod. There you go, that's you told. <laughs> I wouldn't mind, he didn't even stop on the uh, symbol. That one come with Sisal's Mega Mod. Oh, is he on about, sorry, is he on about that thing? Well, no, no Vroom. You can, on the, um, on the truck, you can put sat navs into that position. It's just that particular one is a sisal one, but there were two others that are not sisal. Oh, 
but that position is available in the default truck. Yeah, fun. Part of the problem with the con truck chassis configuration is we only have a small tank. Firefighter, um, you'd be okay with eight, but 16 will, um, will let you do other things. For gaming, though, you don't need more than eight, really. But more memory is never bad, but beyond 16 is not worth it. Gens. <laughs> Would I recommend Seagate portable hard drives? Seagate have not had a great run over the years, last few years. I don't know what they're like now. They kind of lost their way a little bit. Yeah, SSD drives are currently affordable. That, that plane just appeared in the sky then. You have two Seagate drives on the Xbox One, so far no issues. Mm. I used to, I prefer Western Digital for hard drives myself, but... a pretty low glide slope to me. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> Whoops. I was too busy focusing on judging the... Um... <laughs> I was too busy focusing on judging the truck, the car in front of me, and I turned up the wrong lane. Rip. <laughs> this isn't Britain. You're not wrong. This is the thing, Cool Tiger and, and Beaker, like, if you if you bring up a brand, some people will say, oh, I've always had issues with that. Some people will say, I've been fine. It's the same with cars. It's just like a certain element of luck here. You have a nine-year-old Toshiba. Jeez, man. What's the read rate on that? hard drives are okay as long as you don't move them lol you're honestly better off if like unless you need a crazy amount of space you're better off buying an ssd and putting it into a um usb3 chassis which are dirt cheap they're, they really are cheap in fact you can get ones that you can just replace the ssd you just open a cover pull it out put a different ssd in 
and they're way more versatile. And because they have no moving parts, you won't get as many problems moving them around. So unless you need to go like beyond two terabytes, I just get an SSD. And it'll be super fast reading as well. And it's the Bells, Walker Beck. You can even get an M2, um, because uh, Whiteland got me one, an M2 NVMe caddy. So you can put an M2 NVMe inside it and USB 3 that in. Say any smile. Long time since last banana donation. Lol. Thank you, Zeddy, bro. I forgot all about that banana thing. Why is it 40 down here? Come on. It's a dual carriageway. What on earth? What on earth? It says 70 on the other side. You didn't have the Italy DLC, Lotus. <laughs> well, I'm glad you got to the bottom of it. Well, Philip's memory prices have been coming down quite a lot. Mr. Garg K, welcome back. Your client lost a week's worth of video footage because he transported a hard drive. I did advise him to take it on SSD. Oh dear. That's not good. Yes, Nicky, I, I think you're right though, dude. Either a flood or a fire or something like that. In order to uh, hike the prices back up. All six heads crashed into the platters. That's painful. could try Connor but I mean if the heads have crashed into the platters you're talking physical damage across the surface it's not like some corruption on the ma on the master tables or anything it's like physically wrecking the data The problem is fine, but you know, for that, TSM needs the Baltics. Uh, I don't know its requirements, but I've also heard TSM is not that great at the moment, so consider that. Yeah, that's, that's true, Beaker. At the end of the day, they're just memory. If you've got data that's valuable, don't keep it in one place. That's literally... That's, that's as true now as it ever has been and ever will be. <laughs> Red Devil, single lane hype. Thank you for the biddies. I got away with it, Red Devil. I'll tell you what I do, MP, <clears throat> for my for my valuable data, stuff like my project files and my um, Photoshop images and all that kind of thing, like the valuable stuff, it's on a NAS drive, which has a spare drive. It's on a RAID NAS drive, 
which has a spare drive that it can just hot rebuild. And then I have another drive in the drawer down here that if one of them failed, I could immediately swap out and it would rebuild it. And then that entire folder is cloud synced every night into Backblaze, just in case a meteor hits my house, <laughs> you know? So that's the kind of redundancy I'm looking at. In all seriousness, if you've never used Backblaze <clears throat> as a cloud backup, have a look at it. Because it's very, very cheap. It's very cheap to use. I also have a Dropbox, <clears throat> which is a two terabyte Dropbox. Which is like, what, 80 quid a year? Two terabytes? Synced onto my machines? I use that as well for my personal stuff. Well, I pay yearly, Connor. It's cheaper if you pay annually. Well, Firefighter, I remember it, but I'm trying to erase it from my memory. Well, that's weird, Newsy, because I always had... Hmm, I'm sure they gave me a free upgrade. See, Joshua? I would never trust cloud backup. Anything stored online can be hacked. If you have a spare hard drive, you can copy data. Anything online can be hacked. Dude, let me let me explain something to you, Yorak. Your data, when it goes into the cloud on things like Dropbox or Backblaze, is actually hashed by your password, which is secure, and even they can't recover your data. Yeah? You're, it's encrypted, and they can't even get into it. If you lose your password, they just go <laughs> tough. Like, you'd have to get, even if I gave you the data, you'd have to get past the encryption. Even if you got into the account. Like, my master password is huge. It's huge. Your chances of breaking it are just ridiculous. <clears throat> to say copy onto a hard drive as if that's safe. Like, oh yeah, somebody can't get that physical hard drive, can they? <clears throat> And of course, the problem with hard drive remote backups is you have to remember to keep doing them. Whereas cloud backups, you can just automate every night. But if that makes you sleep better at night, One, two, three, four. <laughs> um, Backblaze, the way Backblaze works in Dependence is it basically builds you for whatever you use. So I think I have... I can't remember how many terabytes I'm using, but I'm getting billed about $4 a month. <laughs> it's just... It's unbelievable how cheap it is. It does NAS drive as well, so my Synology NAS drive backs, backs up to it. And it's not limited, you just pay for whatever you use. Yeah, 
have Black Blaze, five dollars a month for unlimited. How cheap is that? How can anybody have an excuse about losing data when you've got backups like that? Is Black Blaze better than Google Drive? It's different. It's different to Google Drive. Backblaze is more... Think of Backblaze more... In the same way that, like, Dropbox and Google Drive, right? You can have it all nicely synced up across many machines, right? So you can access your data wherever you go. It's designed for, like, data that you're actually wanting to access a lot. Backblaze is more designed for store your data, right, off-site. And it's there when you need it, if you have like a disaster scenario, yeah? So if, if you lose all your data, your hard drive crashes, you would go to Backblaze and recover it. I think with Backblaze as well, you can even pay, you can even pay them to send you a hard drive with all of your data on it, that you keep for a month, copy your data off and then send the drive back for a fee. You know, so say, you, say you've got like 20 terabytes of stuff in the cloud. <clears throat> they will send you a hard drive with all of your data on it for you to copy. And then you send the hard drive back when you're done. So it's more like a disaster recovery scenario than it is Dropbox or Google Drive. It's your last chance saloon kind of thing. It's where you go when everything's gone wrong. <laughs> Once you set it up, you just you just forget about it. Every I think it's every every month or something, every week, I can't remember, I get an email and it says you're using this much and this is gonna be your bill. That's it. Uh Captain Flint, um apparently there's two different pricing, one for one terabyte, one for two. I've had my one terabyte account for a while. I'm sure I got an email saying I've been upgraded, but I've not checked. I'm not using all of it anyway. It's okay for people who have money to spend on cloud storage and rather spend that money on something else. Hey, you spend your money on whatever's important to you. Yeah, my data is pretty important to me, so I spend money on it to make sure I don't lose my data. But if that's not important to you, and something else is, spend your money on that. It's your choice. All you've got to do when you're working this out is think to yourself, if I lost all that, would it mean anything? Does it matter? Is it like the family photos or is it just some stuff I downloaded off the internet that I can get again? There is a difference. <clears throat> no, Lampenbauer, they'll send you the stuff and then you'll still have to put in your um, password and stuff to decrypt it onto your room um, to access the data is my understanding. I've never used that service, but they can't access your data. That would be madness. Nobody would use that. What is this junction? use OneDrive. Yeah, I get OneDrive as part of um, Office 365, is it? You get like a one terabyte OneDrive with that. I mean, that's the other thing is um, if you use Office 365, you get a one terabyte OneDrive, so then you don't necessarily need Dropbox.
CMC, welcome back. Oh, uh, you yeah. got a 15 day free trial back place, then $6 a month. Um, let me know where you're going. Yo, you're welcome, dude. I don't like hearing about people just losing tons of data when there's cheap solutions like that available. Pro Drive. Enjoy. You get LibreOffice. LibreOffice is like, it's okay. Just like Google Office is okay. But none of them can touch Microsoft Office or functionality. Like, Microsoft Excel is just insane insanely good it's so many features over the years that it can just do anything you want really but for most people google office does you know the basics for what they need do we have to go in the left lane or can we go in the right lane what's going on why are they stopped and not moving Curious if you have to leave your PC on constantly to allow, you, to allow it to back up. Uh, normally with these things, they'll back up. Like, you can tell them when to back up. So if you tell your PC to back up between 2 a.m. and 6 a.m. and your PC is always off then, well, how is it supposed to back up? <laughs> so you need to be sensible with it. You've either got it backing up during the day when it's on, or you've got to back it up overnight and let it do its thing. No, I like having my high beam on. Like, if your PC... If you switch your PC on at 9 o'clock in the morning and you turn it off at 9 o'clock at night, well, think about... You know, other members of the household when you're pushing data over the internet, when does it not matter? Probably the time to do it is early in the morning or late at night. Dummy monk, welcome back. A brown Astra, lovely. Still, it's the right colour. 